Today I'm uh, going to make a little short video, just a few minutes, to uh, explain how to install this little fix that we came up with for our uh, cow flaps. Uh, it came to our attention that a couple of uh, units had cracked along the hinge line. and. Um, and it's actually the crack was due to the fact that we put a pretty sharp bend on this little piece of hinge. And <clears throat> that weakened it a little bit. We thought it would be strong enough, but the fact that a couple of them did crack um, makes me nervous. So before that problem gets m worse, we decided to uh, make a little fix for it. Uh, it's very simple, easy to install, only take a few minutes and with this on there it should eliminate the possibility of, of it cracking and and make the cow flaps provide years of service. Now it comes in a little kit, a little plastic bag with the rivets for it and this little bracket And the way this works, it just beefs up the hinge so it can't flex in the area where we did the bend. Um, now, I don't think this is a big problem, but I would suggest that everybody put this on. Uh, the next time we make these things, we'll probably just go to a, a heavier hinge and then this won't be necessary. Now, the way you put this on, I, I decided to use this little fixture that uh, we used before to show the product just because it's easier to work with and trying to get the cowl up here and, and uh, work with the cowl. But you should be able to put this on, just take the cowl off, set the cowl down, just very minor little operations, and you should be able to install this with... Uh, the flaps in the in the cowl, so so it's not necessary to remove them. Now, uh, to, to keep the video so it doesn't get too long, I went ahead and prepared some of this ahead of time. Now, this thing, uh, this this little fixture is representative of the thickness of the cowl. It's two hundred and fifty thousandths. Now, <clears throat> the way you do this, first thing, you take an Allen wrench. There's some Loctite on this screw that, that holds the actuator in place. And you have to break the Loctite loose and wiggle it a little bit. And then this screw will come out. Yeah, it's loose now. Okay, now we unscrew this. This is really um, pretty simple. So we unscrew that screw and remove it. When you put this screw back, you should put a little bit of Loctite, a little blue Loctite on the screw, uh, just so this thing never vibrates loose in flight. Once that screw is removed, you just lift the actuator up like this and push the door open like so. Then you take this little piece that, that we send. Now this is made out of 301 stainless. It's uh, 35 thousandths thick. The hinge that's in here is aluminum and it's only 25 thick. So this is a multitude of times over <laughs> stronger than that aluminum hinge. Now, <coughs> you take this little angle piece with the holes up and you stick it right in like this. Line it up with the existing rivets and just pop it in. Now once it's popped in, the, the existing rivets will line up perfectly with the clearance holes that are in the little bracket. Now if you look closely there's four clearance holes. Once that's in, you take that with, you hold it in place and 
you're going to use it as a template to drill the holes. Now you'll need a good drill, uh, you know, a little cordless drill, one like this is adequate. And you'll need a drill bit with a stop on it. You want to set the stop at 300 thousandths deep. Now, <clears throat> with this in the cowl, installed like this, you're going to take this drill and you're going to go into these holes that we put in the bracket and just drill through the hinge and through the, the flat frame and halfway into the, uh, the cowling. Now the cowling is, like I said, it's 250 thousandths thick, there's honeycomb in the middle. So you're going to just drill through don't go through out the other side uh, because you would be able to see that on the outside of the airplane. So you're going to go about two-thirds of the way through or to an overall depth from, from the new bracket you're installing top down 300,000. Once those holes are drilled, you're going to take the little stainless steel core pop rivets that we send and stick them in these holes that you have just prepared. And you'll need a pop rivet gun. And you just pull these rivets to attach that piece. Once those are pulled, the new bracket becomes part of the assembly. Now, when we make the bracket, the bracket is over bent three degrees. So as you pull these three pop rivets, it will literally pull that stainless bracket in and support that hinge you know, very rigidly. So there should never be any another problem with it. It's just a little added safety. And once that's done, you're going to take the screw put a little bit of Loctite on the, on the threads and reinstall the screw and you're done. Pretty simple but makes this much much stronger and, and it'll never ever give any trouble at that point. So that's all there is to it. Takes uh, If you have everything out the drill, the pop rivet gun, Allen wrench, drill bit, uh, shouldn't take 20 minutes to do this. So, if, uh, if you didn't receive an email, I, I sent an email out to uh, pretty much all 600, there's about 600 of these out in the field. So I sent out a mass email to everybody and we've gotten a tremendous amount of responses back already. But if, uh, if you see this on our website and you didn't get the email and you want one of these, just give us a call. It's uh, not a problem. <coughs> now that's about it. If, uh, if anyone sees this and has any questions that I didn't cover here, just give us a call. I always enjoy talking to everybody. <coughs>